What's up guys? It's Missy. I'm back with another SimCity Build It video. And this video is going to be fairly brief. I just wanted to touch base with you guys on contest of mayors for you um, you low level players. I have a person in my club actually right now that is way ahead of the game. He's followed all of my my videos and my advice and he's doing phenomenally. Um, his his name is uh, Yoda, so shout out to you, Yoda. You're doing great. And I'm actually going to show you guys. He's level 18. He has his storage. Last I knew, which was yesterday, his storage was at 410. He has done really good with Calm. I'm going to pull up his, his stats here. All right, he's at 34,000, and he's level 18. I'm not quite sure how many assignments that he has right now. But as you can see, one of his assignments recently was that he was doing make 12 protein bars. And because he doesn't have a whole lot of slots available in that shop and he hasn't unlocked Epic tokens, those tasks are taking him much longer. Now, he, and like many of you who are doing comm, there's a point in time where comm becomes not beneficial for you guys. If you are a high level player, you are probably not benefiting from doing calm because you're using a lot of cash in order to hit the, the top prize. If you're even able to hit the top prize because there's people spending more cash than you or there maybe there's a hacker in that particular week's league that just totally ruined it for all of the people that are actually working hard. But one thing that I wanted to point out to you guys that if you are low level players, realistically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save all of your gold tokens, work your way up. And I'm going to show you guys here. Um, okay. So proceed all the way up each leg. Make sure that you get promoted. Don't get demoted. Make sure that you're getting promoted and save every one of your gold tickets. You can use up to 15 gold tickets per league or mayor's assignments or, you know, like per week for each round of mayors, you can use up to 15. Do not use any of them. Even if you really, like you think that you're, maybe you and somebody are haggling over first prize. If it's like the last 10 minutes of calm and you're certain that you can win and only use like one ticket, then do it. But don't waste your gold tickets on these low level leagues. All that matters right now at your level is that you're being promoted. Once you hit mega league is when you're gonna wanna utilize those tickets. Now, when you go to your leaderboard here, you'll notice that there's a little section here that's in the green. And if you read closely, it says to be promoted to mega. I have to hit within the top 10 players to even get into mega. So once you're in Mega League, the same kind of thing's going to happen. You're not going to have a promoted section because that's the top league, but you will have a demotion, demoted section here. So as long as you don't fall below the blue line, you're going to remain in the Mega League even if you don't win a prize. All that matters is that you get into Mega. Once you get into Mega, then use your tickets. Now, kind of be smart about it. You know, don't use 15 tickets in Mega if you know there's no way in hell you're going to hit the top prize. But if it's double points week, use every gold ticket. Use 15 gold tickets, even if you're not in Mega League. Use them because, and the reason I tell you this, is because you have your Mayor's Pass. And on those double points weeks, it's you need to unlock these these tiers, especially if you're somebody who's paid for the gold pass, which I always recommend doing um, just because you get so many rewards for $4.99. But if you're not somebody who wants to spend money on the game, I completely understand. Um, not a lot of people are wanting to spend money on a, a free to play game. I totally get it. Believe me. But if you're somebody who really enjoys the game, you play quite a bit, and you see yourself playing for quite some time, I definitely recommend buying the passes. They just they come with a lot. And honestly, you don't have to buy the pass right away. 
you can wait until it's completed and see where you hit on the pass before you decide if it's worth spending the money. Which, it, you know, if you get to level 32 on the pass and you purchase it at level 32, you're going to get all of those previous levels. You're not going to miss out on anything. So I would honestly um, maybe consider doing that. And also save these rewards for assignments. Certain rewards can help you. So this one right here, the Neo Simoleons, this can help you for a Neo assignment. Um, the keys can help you for the key assignments. That's why I haven't collected. I'm actually going to save this one if I get a gold chest assignment because the gold chest assignments are collect one gold chest for 3,000 points. That's what I'm saving that one for. Um, but as I was saying before, save your, your tickets for the high-level leagues. Don't waste them. They're hard to come by. You will get them quite a bit when you level up your... Um, your contest ranking. Let me let me uh, read this here just a second. Okay. And for those of you who don't know, I'm going to go ahead and answer a question in the video. That particular assignment, let's say it says collect five canisters. I have them already made here. So all I have to do or would have to do in that instance is start the assignment, collect each canister. And as long as I collect them off of here, the assignment's done. So you, I would have to open, if I collected five, I can hold four. So one in here and three here. So I would have to open one and I would probably just pay the seven cash and then drop one more down, collect the fifth and be done with that assignment. Okay, this, like I said, this video is going to be brief, but if you are in the high level leagues, you're low level, and um, you are doing phenomenally, you're winning first place in the mega, you are gonna have to spend some cash to win the mega prize. So um, that being said, it is always wise to, like, let's say that you won Mega last round. You won first place, you bought your Maxis. And you, maybe you unlocked all your, your store slots or, you know, whatever it is that you did. Save about 200 to 300 cash for the next round of Mega because you are going to need some cash if you want to hit the top prize. You're going to need it to open um, canisters or bring back flights or... You know, whatever it is that you have unlocked, whatever it is that the assignments that you're doing, you're, go you're going to need to use some cash here and there. If you're a high-level player and you are not hitting Mega, you're not hitting anywhere near the top, go watch my video on how to hit the top. If you're still having trouble and you the competition is just really hard, it's possible you're playing with hackers, but honestly, people are just... They're... <laughs> They're savages, man. I'm telling you, them high-level players, they know what the hell they're doing. And they are busting their ass to do it. And it might not be something that you win. And you're going to end up spending, and <laughs> they are spending it too, just as much, if not more, to win the prize than you're getting out of it. So then you ask yourself, well, what's the point, right? Well, you're exactly right. And that's why I quit doing comm. And... When I say that, I mean, I quit doing it for the league prize. I do it for the mayor's pass. So right now I will cancel assignments if they are very tedious or if they take a lot more effort. I won't pay cash to bring flights back anymore. I don't do it because I'm not, I'm not gonna sit here and go through the leagues and bust my ass for to hit second place because they, happen to get one more just one more 3k assignment i'll tell you this right now i can't tell you how many um mayor's contests i've lost first place to due to one screw up i am not kidding you one one assignment one 3k assignment getting screwed up can can forfeit the entire week's worth of work i'm not playing like it, it gets that crucial that um 
I don't want to say time consuming. I'm trying to think of the word, but it, it's really strict. You know what I mean? So like you make one screw up and it can cost you everything. And I've seen it happen hundreds of times to myself and other players. So if you are a high level person and you're finding that calm is just, it's just too much, it's too time consuming for your lifestyle or, or that you're having trouble hitting the top leagues, no matter how much money you spend or how much time and effort you put into it, I would just work it at your own pace. Try to get as many points as you can realistically without having to spend a lot of cash. But what I do is I, I use assignments. I, or sorry, I use gold tickets on um, every, almost every uh, league. And the reason that I do that is because I'm usually in the mega league or the metro league. And usually if I'm in Metro, it's because I've fallen behind in Mega because I haven't been, you know, playing religiously. But what I do is I just try to unlock the mayor's pass. I try to unlock the buildings and um, get these rewards because thankfully SimCity did put out this pass. There's, I do like the pass. I like the new idea. I don't like the new buildings that they are not as as pretty they don't put anywhere near the amount of effort into them that they used to and i like the new setup i like how everybody can work at their own pace and they can get rewards because it used to be that you used to work your way up the leagues and depending on which league you were in would depend on which building you got so if you never made it to mega you never unlocked that last building which a lot of people would try to get into mega and as you see you only get in if you're in the top 10. so yeah um I mean, work at your own pace, unlock the rewards on the pass. If you're not paying for the pass, then you're only getting the rewards in the blue. And in that case, uh, it's honestly not worth much to you to do it if you're doing the blue pass. Because as you can see, you'll get 1,400 cash at the very end. But look at how many levels you get nothing. I mean, that's a lot of flipping work because a lot of this stuff, like, I mean, yeah, you get a couple dozer here and there, but yeah, the gold pass is definitely worth it. Um, the, the, the amount that you need is up here in the top right corner and they actually lowered it. You actually, the first pass, it was like 35,000 points per level. It was insane. They lowered that, which is great. Um, that being said, I am going to go ahead and end this video. I hope I helped you guys out a little bit and maybe was able to save some of you guys a big headache and hassle. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We can always use more of you guys. If you have any questions or you have um, something that you need help with, please hit me up in the comments. I am always willing to speak with you guys. I try to get back to everybody and hopefully um, you guys can, you know, do better and whatnot. That being said, I'm going to end this video. If you guys have any ideas for new videos or content or something you want me to cover, I say this in every video, please leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to get those out for you guys.